Hello, this is Stephanie from mypastorcmaexam.com. I've updated my downloadable CMA exam planner and I'd like to walk you through how it works in this video. The study planner is a spreadsheet that helps you to identify and mark the number of study hours you have each week, accommodate planned vacation days in your schedule, calculate the time required to go through all exam materials based on the number of studying hours you have, and specify the starting and ending dates of each study unit so you can closely monitor your progress in the calendar. Who will find this study planner useful? This planner is most useful for those who study offline, that is, if you use the Wiley CMA learning system or the Glym and Hawk textbooks. If you sign up for online review courses, such as the Glym CMA review system or Wiley CMA Excel, they have an interactive study planner that works seamlessly with the rest of their learning tools. In this case, I encourage that you use those instead of my worksheet. Step 1. Mark your study time by the hour of each week. You will see a time schedule of Monday to Sunday and each day broken down into 20 working hours. To get started, put an X in each time slot that is available for study. In this example, I need to take care of my kids most of the time, so 2 to 4 p.m. from Monday to Friday is the only study time I have. In this case, the total number of hours in each weekday is 2 hours, and the total number of study each week is 10 hours. Step 2. Mark your days off. There are times when you need to take a few days off from the study, whether it's a scheduled break or a work family commitment such as attending a wedding, you can input the dates in the days off column and the study planner will adjust accordingly. For those who plan to study every day, including the weekends, it is most important to schedule some breaks in between to make this a more realistic and workable study plan. Step 3. Pick a starting date. In theory, you can pick any time to start. But due to the limitation of this simple spreadsheet, please pick a Monday so the calculations work. Understand the basic study mode. I'm showing you the study planner for Climb Part 1 in this video. Unit 1 to 10 refer to the study units that you will find in the Climb textbook. The titles of the units are shown here on the lower left hand side of the spreadsheet. The basic study mode follows the general suggestions from Dr. Gleim on how to use the Gleim CMA review system. I also included extra review time based on my own experience. This default schedule assumes 6 hours on average to complete each study unit, which is more or less the time I needed for my own exam. You can also make changes to any of the assumptions on the second page of the spreadsheet if you want to adjust the number of minutes required for each study unit. In this example, the starting date is May 18 and the ending date is July 10. Step 5. Understand the comprehensive study mode. The basic study mode assumes you go through the entire CLIMB CMA review materials and work on 20 multiple choice questions in each study unit. You will see that 78 hours or 7.5 weeks or 1.7 months are required to complete the study based on this scenario. In my opinion, doing only 20 multiple choice questions for each study unit is not enough to pass. So here comes the comprehensive study mode. The comprehensive study mode assumes you work on the rest of the practice questions available in the Glyme test prep. It also includes the time that you need to redo and re review the incorrect questions. In this study mode, you will need 162 hours, or 16 weeks, or 3.7 months, to cover part 1. In this example, the starting date is again May 18, and the ending date is September 8. It is probably too long to study for almost 4 months. If I were a candidate now, I would increase the number of studying hours from 10 to say 15, to cut down the preparation time to two and a half months. 
Step 6. Mark it on your calendar. You can play around in the yellow input area to create your own optimal study plan. Once it is done, print out the first page of the spreadsheet and stick it on the wall so you know the exact schedule for your study. It's also a good idea to make the starting and ending date of each study unit on a big wall calendar or your favorite portable device to facilitate tracking of your progress. Step 7. Download the study planners. Please go to this page to download the study planners. Everything is free. If you have any questions on the study planner or the CMA exam in general, please drop a note in the comment section here or on my website. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.